Welcome yes people, hope everyone's crazy. good. Welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we're on episode two of the Ultimate Drill Guys, and today we're gonna to be covering drums. So I'm gonna go through all the key aspects, such as hi-hat, snares, perks, sound selection, and also positioning of drums. If you haven't already, make sure you come and join the family, hit that subscribe button, turn on the notification bell as well. But anyway, enough talking, come and join me on my screen, and let's jump straight into the episode. That's crazy. Welcome back to the series. Like I say, in today's video, we're going to be covering drums. So I'm going to go through all the key points, in my opinion, which will help you create fire drill drums for all your drill beats. So we're going to pick right up where we left off in the last episode. I finished creating all three melodies. Uh, we've got some piano. We've got a top line melody for the piano. And we added in some strings as well right at the end. So I'll just run over them one by one, show you what we've got just to catch you back up. These are the chords. And these are the chords with the top line melody with the piano. And lastly, these are the strings that we added in right at the end of the last video. So yeah, all three melodies sounding real nice and now we're ready to kickstart the video properly. Let's get into the drums. So the first note I'm actually going to touch on is sound selection. So if you haven't already, I'd get onto Google, Reddit, whatever it is, and just type in maybe some UK drill drum packs. And a lot of these packs are free. You can download them. They'll basically have all the sounds that you need just to get started creating some fire drill beats. Me personally, I have a few of my own kits. So I'm going to be going through some sound selections that I believe will get your drill beats sounding real nice. So first off, I'm going to talk about hi-hats. Hi-hats, in my opinion, and I know a lot of people will agree as well. They're are actually probably the most key element when it comes to drums within drill beats. They tend to follow quite similar patterns, a lot of drill beats. The key to a good hi-hat bounce is sort of the third step bounce. Uh, I'll give you a quick example. Within a trap beat, you'd usually just grab a hi-hat and fill the two steps, which would sound like this. And that doesn't sound bad, but it's not quite drill. It's not what we're going for. So what I'm going to do is show you the most simple way to come up with a nice drill bound straight off the bat. So these three notes are probably the most important when it comes to getting the hi-hats to sound like a real drill beat. It basically just gives you the drill bound straight from the off. So I'm just going to fill in some real simple notes. If you guys want to follow along, copy this pattern, then feel free, go ahead. But let's come up with a real simple pattern just to give you an example of how easy it is to actually add in some drill hi-hats. So yeah, we've added in a hi-hat pattern and this will be the foundation of the hi-hat. This will be the main bounce. So I'm going to go ahead, let you have a quick listen to this. So yeah, it's not sounding too bad, but we can actually spice these hi-hats up a little bit. And the key to doing that is going into the piano roll and actually tweaking the velocity of some notes and maybe adding in a few light rolls here and there. So we're going to go ahead, do that, and I'll show you what we've come up with. So yeah, sounding real nice, real jumpy, and that's a perfect foundation to get going with a real nice drill beat. So now the hi-hat's out of the way, that brings me straight onto the next sound, which is the snare. And once again, I think this is a real key element when it comes to drill beats. It's not quite as simple as trap snares where they're just hitting on the three and the seven. Uh, with drill, it's actually the three and the eight. So I'll show you the difference between both of them now. So if we're working on a trap beat, this is how the snare would usually sound. Which, once again, doesn't sound too bad, but it's not quite drill. So what I'm actually going to do to make this sound like a real drill beat is just take away this snare and add it here, and take away this snare and add it here. And basically, it's as easy as that. That's how to create the real drill bounce. So this is what it sounds like now. Thank you. 
that's more like it. So that brings me on to my next topic, perks. Now, there's a lot of crazy things you can do with perks and even hi-hats. For example, I could add in another hi-hat and to speed up this process, I've actually got a hi-hat MIDI kit perfect for drill. So if I wanted to, I could drag another MIDI in onto the new hi-hat. And a real good tip is make sure that I added both into the mixer and the first hi-hat we can pan full left and the second hi-hat we can pan full right. And basically that'll just add to the bounce and make it sound even more crazy. This is what it sounds like. Hey, that actually sounds real nice, so I'm actually going to keep this in. But next, I'm going to go for some perks, maybe some off snares, just to get the beat bouncing a little bit more to counteract the main drill snare that we have going on. So I'm actually going to go for a rim. And the key to perks and all different types of percussion, for me, is actually finding an intentional place to put them. A place that fills in the empty pockets within the beat, just to fill it up and make it sound a lot more full and a lot more bouncy, basically. I'm going to go ahead, see if we can find a place for this rim shot. And now we're going to add in an off snare just to give the beat even more of a bounce. So yeah, let's see what we can come up with for that. So that's sounding nice. Next, I've just grabbed this triangle and a good little tip, if you open up the sound and the frequencies seem quite small, a good little tip I can give is just head over here to this switch and you can turn up the boost knob a little bit. And it'll basically just make it a little bit louder, which is perfect for what we need. So yeah, that's sounding nice. I don't want to overcomplicate this beat too much and start adding in loads of sounds because then it'll get a bit hectic. It'll all sound a little bit mad for the listener. So, so lastly, what I'm going to add in is just a little hit on the one just to give the beat a little bit more of an impact straight off the bat. So what we're going to do is place this on the one just for a little bit more impact when it comes to the drop in the beats and all that type of stuff. But I'm actually going to throw in a little tip here, which is a real nice method that I use quite a lot. So if you place this on the one... That sounds cool, sounds real nice, it fits well. But a tip I can give is actually place this on every other beat for the first three, go into the piano roll and lower the velocities as you go. And that'll basically give it a delay effect. So it'll start off loud and it'll gradually get quieter throughout the hits. Hey, that is sounding nice. I'm liking the sound of that. Okay, guys, that's it from me on this one. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. We covered a lot of the key factors that I believe will help you create fire drill drums. So be sure to tune in to the next episode where we're going to be covering another key factor of drill drums, which is probably one of the most key factors, the 808. But yeah, if you haven't already, make sure you follow my Instagram at SevereProd to keep update with all the upcoming videos and giveaways that I have coming out soon. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed the video and you're feeling the beat so far. Be sure to tune into the next episode. Make sure you leave a like, subscribe, and I'll catch you in the next one.